Hi YouTube, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. Hi guys, quick video. I am working on some pieces here and I think this is around where we left off last. And so I've been working on some pieces, quite a few pieces I still need to work on. I need to get a great way to sand. For now, I just kind of use a like a nail hand file and I'll just go around the edges. Why? Because there's not a lot to file. It's really just a little bit. I could use like a little rotary tool. Um, but there's so many pieces that I want to kind of just hurry up and finish. Um, I think there's some pieces that I didn't even show you. I love this piece. Now, I want to see if I can get more pieces like this that maybe aren't brass knuckles, but that have these little hooks here. Because I love this style of necklace to hang this way, but I wish that we had a different option other than a brass knuckle. I would love to make molds. And let me just grab my mold. So I have a ton of molds um, for resin and things. I just need to clean them out. But I have a bunch of molds. I have a whole nother bag of molds. But I need to find a different, as I throw everything everywhere, a different system for those molds because I can't have them in there like that. If you know silicone, if you have it like squished which they're not squished in there, but if I have them squished for a long time, they end up getting messed up. So anyway, so I want to make molds, and I have made molds before, as you can see. I put them in these bags. I think I've shown these a couple times before, but here's just some examples of molds I've made. I think, let me see. It may be this one. I know one of them was sent to me ooh, years ago so these are cupcake bottoms but i can't wait to make resin cupcakes so i'm going to be doing that this is a mold i made from a jewelry piece another jewelry piece this is my little um worm mold the little crawlers the little gummy worms the sour gummy worms this is a Tweety Bird piece, jewelry piece that I had um, many years ago. This is like a little tart mold that I made. Another little worm, and it has all of the detail in there. So I remember years ago when I was trying to create these molds because I said, you know what, first of all, I know that I can make molds. Second, they're kind of pricey. And sometimes you'll find... Well, you'll want a mold that you can't find online. So then it's you can either maybe make a custom piece. Well, I'll just show you just in a second. Um, and I've shown you in a couple of videos that I do make clay uh, pieces as well. So this is a cupcake top. This is a gummy bear mold I made, a little heart mold, flower. So um, this is a Sour Patch Kid mold. You see him? So many, many, many molds I have... I have so many more in here. A couple were sent to me, like I think this whipped cream dollop mold was sent to me, but I could also use that for something else. So anyway, so I'm excited to go back to using my molds and trying to pour resin in them and see how that comes out. I also ordered me some more mold maker, which is, I believe is amazing, amazing, excuse me, putty. It's just like this yellow here. So I'll be having this come in a few days and we're going to make some more um, pieces together. Well, not pieces, but molds. So what I did was, is yesterday I was going through my clay pieces. And, well, really, I was browsing online because I said I want a few new molds. I did order a, was it just one mold that I ordered? I think it was just one mold that I ordered. A mold that I really, really wanted. And you will see soon. So these are clay creations that I have made with my own hands. They are old, but um, they are pieces that I want to create. Uh, molds out of like this lollipop mold looked online searched and searched and searched i was even looking for just real authentic lollipop molds either couldn't find them they were super expensive it wasn't the type that i wanted i wanted something that looked like this um, i really wanted like a flat 2d mold and then 
I was like, well, maybe I can make a 3D mold. I made these little lollipops. What I want to do is make a mold out of the lollipop. So now, or after the mold, then I'll always be able to have more lollipops. I wouldn't have to keep making clay lollipops, right? I can just keep either putting clay or resin into that mold and continue to keep making more lollipops. Um, but there's so many pieces in here. Cupcake, little puffy stars I want to make molds out of. 2D ice cream cones, this little gumball machine I want to make a mold out of. I thought that that would be cool. Um, so there's so many things in here that I want to make a mold out of. Flowers, little candies. So I just thought that this would be genius because I already have kind of cabochons. These aren't cabochons, but I already have pieces already made and all I would have to do is push them into the mold maker. And that's what I did for all of these. Well, these I actually used real candy for, but, you know, with your molds, um, you just follow the, the directions. You would take your item, push them into the mold, wait a little bit, and then you pop back out, and it should stay hard and rubbery. You should be able to pour anything into it without it breaking. I don't really get bubbles. You just have to make sure that you need this stuff really, really well. And that when you're forming, like, I like to form a ball of the stuff first when you mix the two together and then push it in. But you have to make sure that when you're pushing it in, you're not pushing it into a bubble. So, but anyway. So my point is, I'm going to be making a ton of uh, molds with you. So stay tuned for that. If you don't know how to make molds, maybe you've never seen it before. Maybe you don't know what Amazing Putty is. This will help us with making our own custom pieces. So now we can make our own molds. Okay. And again, I was looking online uh, for a whole bunch of molds and they were actually really, really expensive where I couldn't find the exact mold that I wanted. So I said, wait a minute, I have a whole bunch of clay pieces um, and I have made molds before. So why don't I just try it again? A little 2D ice cream cone. So this is cute to be, you know, flat ice cream cone. This is not going to be anything that's would be 3D or 4D. I don't know the difference. Um, another thing I wanted to show you, but I have to clear this first. Or maybe I won't. I just wanted to show you, I think I already showed you all of those resin pieces down there. Did I? I don't know. I'll show them to you again. I'm just going to show them to you like this. This is the easiest way for me to do it right now. Sorry, guys. But these are some pieces that I've been working on. You guys told me that you like little Pop-Tarts. I have an idea for these little kind of teardrop, raindrop shaped resin pieces. I just started to put a bunch of pieces together. I started making little dangles with beads. So this is just a few, just a few things I was working on. I still have to layer and dome so many pieces. And of course I'm going to make some new pieces, so stay tuned for that. But really, I wanted to show you, can I put this here? I think I'll block the light out. If you guys <laughs> have looked online, if you're into making keychains, you most likely want a pom-pom or something on your keychain, right? Look at this. I'm making tassels. This is a really chunky tassel, just something that I was playing around with, really, but you guys, this is with my hand. With my hands, I'm making this. This is not with a pom-pom maker at all. I can show you exactly how I make these just so that you can see. I do have pom-pom makers coming, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. I'm just going to... I got too much stuff going on, guys. So just with normal normal yarn. I think this is acrylic yarn. Let me see. A lot of people say that the acrylic yarns of pom-pom come, uh, come out a lot. But yeah, this is 100% acrylic yarn. So people say that they come out better with acrylic yarn. So look at all of these pom-poms. These are not store-bought. I made these guys and I'll show you the string in a second. Look at these. And all different types. Like I came from, oh this is a little heart that I made that was very difficult to make. I tried to make another one last night but it didn't work out for some reason. So I'm hoping that the pom-pom maker, I'm not done yet guys, I'm just trying to grab them all. Look at this. So I have different types. I found out a way to make them kind of fuzzy looking. I have a couple more. I just have them in this little bin here. Different types, different sizes, different colors. This one's really fuzzy. I still have to add 
I have to figure out how I'm going to add some sort of, or not some sort of, but add the keychain to them. And then I made really tiny, tiny, tiny ones. These are the tiniest ones that I've made. These are probably harder than, than bigger ones, believe it or not. So guys, make your own pom-poms is what I'm saying. Uh, these tighter ones were the first ones I made. These two right here. This one I made multicolored. Are we focused? So, yeah, if you can make it, guys, I have this string laying around. Oh, let me show you. I literally just have. So, you want to. This is the yarn I've been using 100% acrylic. And I just have just a few colors blue, gray, and then there's two multicolored ones. So, I mean, you can literally just use leftover string. I know a lot of people. Um, are making and buying like faux fur materials and making their own pom-poms this way. I'm completely fine with the yarn pom-poms. I'm saving the everything that I cut because if someday I do maybe want, I kind of do want to buy like a piece or two of the faux fur and try my hand at sewing some pom-poms together. So I saved the little pieces that get cut and I thought that it would be a great material to fill on the inside. So like why throw it away? It would be, be a great nice soft filler right so I want to show you the difference this one's kind of really tight looking look at the difference see the difference I'm hoping that you can see the difference but I'm trying my hand at you know making different sizes this is the biggest one that I made I think this one I made yesterday like this compared to this huge different huge difference so yeah guys just wanted to tell you like you don't have to go out and buy these if you have leftover yarn you can attach these to hats you can do so many different things you, i see people make like things for their houses i was trying my hand at little tassels i've made tassels before but not with this string i've made that them with um that finer string i'm sorry i don't know what it's called right now but yeah a bunch of pom-poms that i made in i think two or three days but i had to give myself a break because with tying that final string my fingers got swollen because of all the pressure that i was doing for all that time doing the pom-poms so i said you know what mm -mm. I need to maybe look into that pom-pom maker. I'll show it to you when it gets here. It should be, I can't speak today. I'll show it to you when it gets here in a few days. Um, but yeah, and not because I can't make them by my hand, but because, and I'll definitely do a video if you want me to do a video about it. Plenty of videos on YouTube, guys, about pom-poms. <laughs> so many, but if you'd like for me to make a video for you about how I created all these, please let me know down below, okay? So yeah, these can get pretty pricey online. Um, forget it when it comes to the full fur ones. So I said, you know what, I could probably make hundreds of these, if not dozens, with just a little bit of string that I have left. I'm going to finish off the string that I have left, maybe make smaller ones, like um, these size instead of uh, these bigger ones, because it, it does take, you know, a lot of string. I just wanted to try my hand at making bigger ones, and I did it. So I can't wait for my pom-pom maker to arrive. And I think that is all I have for you today. I just wanted to show you some things that I have been working on. Like, for instance... If we had, let's see, if we had this little keychain right here with this little pom-pom hanging off. I don't know. I just think it's adorable. I'm trying to put keychains together. I put this little dangle together, but I do have some stretchy string, which I'm going to be using that to make my dangles. I do need to find more because the one that I have is pretty old and it's a little bit colored, but it's cool for me to practice with. So, and while I get another one, this acrylic um, bow, I need to dome on the back but again just practicing if this had a key um, I'm probably gonna attach something in this to be able to attach the keychain but anyways just me thinking why can't I make things myself um, again I bought a pom-pom maker that I will share with you when it comes I think that's all I have for you I was recycling some old eyeshadow that I had and I was really really grinding it up really really well and I just put it in here and I'm ready for uh, resin when I am ready to do it, which will be soon, so stay tuned. So I was gonna toss the old makeup and I said, you know what, I can probably use these in resin, which I have used eyeshadows in resin before and my pieces have come out so very, very beautiful. I do wanna try alcohol inks. I do wanna try uh, mica powder again, pearlexes and stuff, but I wanted to try this out again and see what I could do because if you have old eyeshadows, you don't need to toss them. You just need to grind them up really, really well. To a really fine powder and just add a little bit it, really the resin just needs a little bit and then that's it and you literally have your own diy powder so 
I'm gonna try to do that from now on if I have some old eyeshadows. Anyways, guys, stay tuned. Oh, I wanted to. I was also looking for a key mold as well, so I remembered I have these keys that I made before with a little bit of detail, not much. I mean, they're not official looking keys. It was just my version of key. Looks kind of like keys. They just have shapes on the bottom. I don't know. I just thought they were cute. I thought maybe resin up here would be cute. I don't know. Um, this is a little resin little bear that I'm going to... I think I have a mold of this bear somewhere that I made. I know he's here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Let me get him out for you. Sorry, guys. I'm one-handed. That was the only way that I could do it. So here he is, and I have a smaller bear mold as well. I think I have two. Yeah, two different gummy bears. Online, you can't. I was trying to find the resin pieces already made. The gummy bears, first of all, super expensive. Second of all, the mold was so skinny that the bears were gonna come out like literally flat. And I said, you know what? I have a mold, and my bears are chunky. Like actually look like a gummy bear. They're not flat. So anyway, lots of ideas in my head, guys. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. I will be with you shortly. I'm gonna go edit and continue to create videos for you guys to watch. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Love you so much. Bye.